it. Is it too late to record it now? So yeah, the Panther resurrects. Wow. That's amazing. So the only issue we had was the first map. I mean, 4,000 crits from the Panther, 12,000 crit from the Panther. And what is it? Is it like super tanky ad? I mean, come on. Let's focus the boss. All we need to do here is kill the boss. We don't need to do anything else. Just focus the boss. That's why we have Questa here. Obviously, the boss has the highest HP. <laughs> so come on, guys. Don't let me down. Don't, don't, don't tell me this single ad will kill us. Panther is dead. Just, w just when I pressed record and we are falling. We're falling to pieces. Yeah, definitely the Panther. Okay, the Panther resurrects between the stages. Uh, but if it falls during the stage, the Drizzt is significantly losing damage. But since he's doing a lot of AoE damage, if he sticks to this target, we'll do it. We'll do it. We got it. The last domain at level 5. Thanks to Drizzt. I mean, yeah, it's thanks to him. His damage output is through the roof. I mean, people are saying Usha can do the same thing. Well. Nice. Okay, so let's look at what I used here, okay? Because... Uh, as I said, I'm recording that for the purposes of basically playing that later, so... Uh, right. Tanks. I'm using Ripekas to apply this random debuffs and defense down because he's doing three hits. So we have three times the chance he's running. Uh, full defensive set here, absorbing the damage from our allies as well. Um, yeah, so this is basically it. As you can see, a huge accuracy to ensure we're always hitting these debuffs. We got full buff at the front. That's why I'm not using the five affinity. Sadly, I don't have anyone else better in this place, but we don't need to. I mean, really, we only get in the increased damage, not, nothing else from here. And he's running accuracy and resistance set as well. That's that's why I use me mostly on him. Uh, we could go we could go self healing set as well when he casts the ultimate he will uh, heal himself for 20 percent of hp but uh, in this case it works uh, we got this uh, attack penalty applied in the aoe area we got some extra healing here and yeah and we can choose defense aura but i went all damage and uh, we got adolphus uh my one of my favorite uh damage mitigators through his shields huge shields with 160 uh, uh, alignment going for this double uh, with this haste set here and enlightenment set here uh, just a little bit haste so we have this shield constantly we could just forget the enlightenment and go for free set here to boost the damage on the allies because no one in this team has it usually when i use adolphus there's someone else to apply this buff uh, mvp dressed I mean, yeah, Drizzt is an issue. Drizzt has few issues. I mean, he's not skilled and he's been doing 70% of the damage on the team. The issue is when his companion ally falls, his damage goes down quickly. But good news, when you move between the stages, the Panther get resurrected. So in previous fight, the Panther died in this, this fight and she got resurrected in the next stage and she only died again at the last stage. When we fight, when we fought the boss, Questa. I just use Questa here because why not? I mean, uh, she she was an MVP. She's not skilled, uh, so she could be easily replaced. Uh, but you know, she she was a nuisance there to the back line and did some damage as well. Not the highest, but yeah. People were saying Dress does similar damage to Usha, so why not run both of them? Right? I mean, Questa Usha will do the same thing basically. Well, not exactly, but similar. So we're gonna wear similar equipment here with uh, this attack speed here, 
So yeah, let's try it. Let's try and compare them both. Let's see how good they are together. And just to make everything smooth, I didn't use any food previously. I got these buffs from a uh, guild, obviously. Uh, we can use a frost if I have it. Uh, frost defense, okay. So we don't have frost and attack food, sadly. We can cook it later, but yeah, let's use it. So our damage is coming from those two heroes on the bottom. Let's see if we can recreate this. Uh, worth mentioning there's basically no one applying frost because uh, my frost heroes are terrible but yeah definitely look at this difference 25% difference on the damage as long as we have protection for both the panther as you can see these shields help this is damage mitigation we can easily fire through this Sadly, when you're playing in Vortex or any bosses where there's no change between the mm, stages, when the Panther dies, she's gone. As you can see, every time you enter the stage, he resummons the Panther. But now she's getting hit. Okay, she is the lowest HP, so she is a good counter to assassins as well. They'll jump onto her. But look at this pounce. I mean, this is huge damage coming there. And this is unscrolled wrist. And he out damages Questa. Thing is, can the Panther survive? Can he survive? If that happens, then we're really happy. Previous fight, there was no issues. Adolphus obviously keeping them topped up. We got a little bit of healing. We could always go goblin set if we really struggle. I wonder if the goblin set would work on the panther. That's what we can test. Uh, Azizio, to get the drops, you need to go to the profile and select drops and rewards. But first, you need to connect your account through the game menu. I'm going to show you that after this run. Because this run is here to confirm... If Usha can do similar things like Drist, Usha is max skilled. Drist is not. Obviously, the difference in equipment might be the one making the biggest impact. But what I want to say is if Usha can survive it. Okay, she's down. So she died in similar fashion to Questa previously. Drist is still going and surprisingly, since Usha took most of the beating, we got our duo, our Panther and Drist, focusing that boss. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie, yesterday I could not even beat level 4. Today I can beat level 5 on auto. This is full auto. There's nothing here. Nothing else here. Bang. That's us done. We don't even need to kill the ads. We all we need to do is to do that. And damage, huge damage coming from the wrist. Okay, so that's important. And we got that recorded. We got that on video, guys. Showing the useful use case of the wrist. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.